fuck it is, man. It's big L's in this bitch, you heard me. Shoot dig is bad or dog. Real quick, bro. Real quick, is you about to get straight to the bins and rice, you feel me? You about to get you about to get straight to the bins and rice. Look, man, um, I'm gonna make sure I'm making my business to not put DME Detroit name in the cyber, bro. I'm not gonna I ain't gonna tag yo, you feel me? Cause I don't want niggas to think like I'm trying to clout up off a of shoulder, you feel me? Like I'm trying, like I'm clout chasing. Niggas will bro, you be surprised how quick niggas will say you clout chasing, you feel me? And I ain't clout chasing. You hear me? But if I'm being honest, bro, if I'm keeping it a bean with y'all, like, I don't know, bro. Like, something ain't right with y'all. For real, man. Like, real shit, something ain't right with y'all. And I may explain why I'm saying that, bro. So, uh, DME made, like, two community posts, like, between yesterday and today. You feel me? He made, like, two community posts. And he was pretty much uh, screenshotting. Or sharing a, a a tweet, right? Now, um, he shared a tweet from a RBE battle rapper's baby mother, right? I don't know her name. We ain't even gonna get into that. But the battle rapper name is um Sino Savvy, right? I believe that's how you pronounce his name, Sino Savvy. Uh, C I N O S A V V Y, right? And the tweet reads, bro. You hear me? Like, I, I wrote it down. I mean, he's probably going to try. If he see this video, he's probably going to try to make fun of me because of that. But it is what it is. Um, so, the, so, the, so, the, so the tweet reads, Can y'all blow this up, please? I never... I'm, I'm going to read the tweet first, you feel me? And then we're going to go back and I'm going I'm, to, I'm uh, like, break it down. Like, I'm going I'm to respond bit by bit. All right, so she said, can y'all blow this up, please? I never want to bring my problems to social media, but I have to do this, but I have to in this instance. My baby father has been abusive for years, and I never could say anything due to the dependence on him. Now that I'm stable, I can tell my story. Now, this is why I said, this is why I said DME ain't right, bro, because one, like, you don't even know if there's any validity to, to, to what's being said here, bro. But you gave it a platform. You feel me? Like, and y'all, like, and niggas, like, when I said, like, this nigga, like, I don't know, bro. It's like he enjoyed, like, trying to tear so-called black people down, bro. Or black men down. Preferably those in the battle rap community. You feel me? Because then it seems warranted. I'm a battle rap blogger. He's a battle rapper. Why should I not be talking about this? You, you get what I'm saying? Like the narrative writes itself. But so, all right. So he, so she said, can y'all blow this up, please? Number one, to me, that says you clout chasing. I'm going to keep it a being with you off the rip. You hear me? Off the rip, I feel like you clout chasing. You asking people. You practically begging people to share this, to talk about it, to blog on it. Like you want, like you want it to circulate. You feel me? Like you, like you trying to put your baby father on the spot. For all I know, you could be bitter. You feel me? Like you could be a bitter baby mother. You know how many bitter baby mothers put cases on their baby fathers just out of spite? Just because they got a new girlfriend? You hear me? Just because they're not paying child support. Just because they ain't get their hair and nails done. Like, bitches, women, these women, bro, they not right, bro. You hear me? Now, I'm not saying her specifically, but saying, like, opening up with that, like, can y'all blow this up, please? That's the very first thing you say? This is how you open up your tweet? This is how you begin your statement? Can y'all blow this up, please? I never want to bring my problems to social media but I have to in this instance. It's all mind fuckery. It's, it's mind trickery. It's all psychology. I never want to bring my problems to social media. If you never want to bring your problems to social media, then don't bring your problems to social media. It's common sense. It's practical. So that's bullshit. You've been dying to bring your problems to social media. You feel me? 
I don't follow the lady. I don't. Need, I didn't even know she existed prior to me. You feel me? Seeing this tweet, like she could be one of them. Like the average woman put all that business on social media, but then you saying, "I, I what she say? I, I never want to bring my problems to social media." But this is what y'all do every fucking day. I don't. I'm not saying she's guilty of that because once again, I don't follow her. I don't know her. But this is bullshit. When people say that, like. Oh yeah, I wasn't going, I wasn't going, I, you know, I wasn't going to say nothing to you, but fuck out of here, man. That's bullshit. You feel me? That's bullshit. So she said, I never want to bring my problems to social media, but I have to in this instance. Why do you have to in this instance? She's going to explain. My baby father has been abusive for years. Stop right there, miss. Stop right there. Cause, hey, let me let you, let, let the record show that this is not a safe place. The truth reside here. All my words got squatter rights, bro. My fault. My baby father has been abusive for years, ma'am. If your baby father, I, I'm I'm sorry, bro. Multi, uh, man, I got multiple questions. You feel me? It two the two main questions that pop in my head when I read this. One, if your baby father has been abusive for years, how the fuck did it extend to years? How? After the first year, you should have got the fuck out of Dodge. So, it's some accountability to be taken here. Like, you, if he was able to continue to do this for years, that means you stayed in a relationship with him. That means you stayed, you feel me? Like, you, you kept yourself in, 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 in that uh, predicament, man. Pretty sure the nigga ain't put a gun in your head and make you stay. And I don't want to hear that we got kids together excuse. Like, that's bullshit too. This is shit that we tell ourselves, that we lie to ourselves. Make, to make excuses, you feel me? The other thing is this. Man, if your husband, if, if your baby father has been abusive to you for years, you should not be on the fucking internet. You should be going to the police station. You should be getting a lawyer. You should be a uh, a uh, 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 or getting a restraining order, like a peace or like you should be doing something. You should be taking legal action, man. Not running your mouth on the internet, letting everybody know your business. Not trying to uh, 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 put your baby father on a grill and expose him. This, this is some bitter shit, bro. This is some spiteful shit. This isn't about being being abused for years, bro. This is about trying to expose your baby father. You see, he got a little bit of, you know what I mean? Like, she see the wheels is moving. You feel me? He a battle rapper on RBE. That's a big platform. You know, people gravitate towards him. He got a little name now. It's just like, this shit, man. All right. So she said, my baby father has been abusive for years, and I never could say anything Due to the dependence on him. That's a motherfucking lie. I don't give a fuck how dependent you was on him. You got a mouth, don't you? You you, you can speak now, right? Just like how she said in the beginning of this tweet. I, I never want to bring my problems to social media. But what she do? Bring our problems to social media. Right? That, you, that same logic applies here. Right? You didn't have to be dependent. I mean, you didn't have to not say something to be... You didn't have to not say anything because you was dependent on him. You could have still went on and said something. Whether it, if it was a police report, a, a tweet, an Instagram post. Man, you could have been said something. Stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing. All right? But, I, but I, let D and me tell that I'm the idiot, right? You should have enough sense to be able to, to, to sift through this, bro. Right? Let's read that part again, bro. And I never, my baby father has been abusive for years and I never could say anything due to the dependence on him. Now that I'm stable, here we go. I can tell my story. Here we go with this me too shit. This is some me too shit. Now I can tell my story. Go in, girl. Fuck out of here. Now you can tell your story. Miss, you could have been told your story. Why didn't you tell your story? All right? Because you have a secret. And this is my opinion. I don't know for sure. Once again, I don't know her. I don't know him. I, I'm. This is just my 
my opinion, right? Bullshit. 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 This is bullshit. Now that you stay, right? I guess you ain't have a job when he was whipping your ass. Right? You, 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 your job was to get your ass whipped. Is that what you're trying to tell me? You wasn't getting no government benefits, no wick, no food stamps. You was just a hundred percent dependent on this nigga. So he had every right, every right to beat your ass. This is some of the most dumbest, bro. Her logic is off. It makes no sense, bro. But this is that cry. This, this is, this is the shit that they say, and women go for it. These simp ass niggas go for it. A nigga like DME go for it. It's the shock value, bro. Come on, bro. You don't know CEO Savvy. Do you like do you know him personally? Do you have any type of proof that he's that type of nigga? Why would you give this a platform, bro? And why you why are you so focused on abuse and rape? Like, niggas gotta stop what they doing, bro. So now that she's stable, she can tell her story. Get the fuck out of here, man. I call it bullshit, bro. Alright, so this is uh so let's read because um when he posted the community, when he posted this on his community, uh Jimmy Mac, right? It was with two tweets. It was that tweet and the one I'm about to read from Chris Petty, and he was like, Yeah, you know, the ultimate Chris Unbiased. You know, apologist, you know, says something. I guess, you know, he, he, I guess he assumed he was taken up for Sino Savvy, right? So let's read his tweet. So Chris Petty tweeted or responded saying, fun fact, she has her own place five minutes away, but refuses to stay due to no Wi-Fi. This is per Sino Live and the cops were there and nobody went to jail. So... Let's read it again, right? Let's break it down. Fun fact. She has her own place five minutes away. So this lady, this, his baby mother, has her own place five minutes away from Sino Savvy. But she refuses to stay there due to no Wi-Fi. And that, I, I, that is so fucking believable, bro. I, real quick. Because I always liken women... Uh, a women to kids, bro. They just big ass kids, bro. But that's a whole nother video. Um, bro, when my when 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 my Wi-Fi got cut off, bro, when I see all my kids except for my youngest daughter left and went down there our house where the Wi-Fi was at, bro, they stayed down there for like days until we got the Wi-Fi uh, cut back on. Until we paid the bill, they did not want to be in this bitch because they couldn't be on their phones all day. You feel me? So, because they couldn't be on their phones, they couldn't play Roblox, they couldn't scroll TikTok and Instagram, they was just so bored and miserable, so they stayed down there on house for a couple days. Literally only came in here to bathe and eat and got the fuck out of Dodge. I could, this is the same shit women do. They, if they can't scroll the internet and be busybodies, you know, all in everybody else's business on Facebook, it's just like they're so bored and just, oh my God, what do I do? Like, these women died without their phones. Bro, I was just fucking had to check my daughter. My daughter's 17. I had to, like, oh my God, you know, when we, when we and your mother was growing up, we ain't had no fucking phones. We ain't fucking lose our minds, like, we, it was just normal, because we didn't grow up with smartphones, it's just like, y'all so fucking brainwashed, like, I mean, so I can see that being true, you feel me, her not wanting to stay at her own place, because there's no Wi-Fi, there and she can't be on the internet, it's just, you know, God forbid, it's just her and her thoughts, right, so he said, and, and he said, this is Paracino Live, meaning, this is all what was being said, I'm, I'm assuming, via Sino. He said it's on his live. And the cops were there, and nobody went to jail. Right? Damn near semi confirming that she blowing the whistle. She bluffing. Because if that man was really abusing her, he would have went to fucking jail. And he, you know how it go. Nigga, man, the cops don't need no proof. All they need is a word. All they need is for a nigga to, uh, for a female to say, that nigga hit me. And you look the slightest bit of injured, like. 
So if this is all of what she said is true, he's been abusing her for years and he just whipped my ass five minutes ago. Is just why he ain't go to fucking jail? I'm just saying, bro. I'm I mean, I'm just saying. You feel me? And but but I, I did have another one. I'm probably we probably going um we probably gonna have to make a whole nother video because oh, this video I don't want this video already a little too a little too long for real. So we going to uh, make a whole new video about the uh, the show off comment. You feel me? But um, the show off tweet, forgive me. The show off deleted tweet. But come on, come on, uh, uh, DM me, bro. Like, what's your motive, good brother? Like, let's keep it at being. Like, what is your motive, good brother? Like, out of all tweets, this is the one you want to highlight? You don't have no fucking proof that this man actually did anything to her. All you got is this lady word that you don't know from a can of paint. But you gave it a platform, bro. Niggas got to stop what they doing, man. It's a peasy world. Niggas better wake up or die in that sleep. You mad or not?